Hello YouTube, Caitlin here, and how do you talk to yourself? Um, aren't people who talk to themselves like crazy? No, silly. I mean, what's your internal voice like? Do you unconsciously judge and criticize yourself? So my friend Alicia made a post on Facebook recently that really resonated with me. She had challenged herself to write out a list of all the negative and positive things that she says to herself during a typical day. And she found that the negative list was so much easier to write than the positive list. And isn't it like that for most of us? If you've ever struggled with your self-esteem or self-confidence, then you know exactly what this feels like. There's a little voice in your head that says really nasty things to you and about you all day long. And the voice that compliments you gets quieter and quieter until it's eventually stifled underneath all that negative self-talk. So Alicia bearing her soul in a way by making public that list of negative self-talk and vowing to be more conscious of her internal monologue has made me want to challenge myself to make a list too. So this is the kind of negative stuff that I say to myself on a daily basis. You're not friendly enough. You should be socializing with people more. You look tired, worn out, or just generally unattractive. You're wearing too much makeup. You're wearing too little makeup. You're too selfish and controlling. Parker's probably gonna get fed up with it one day and leave you. You're too scatterbrained. Other people can manage all of these tasks, but you keep messing everything up. You're fat. Why did you gain weight? You're right on the brink of ruining any attractiveness that you had. You're not actually smart. That was an illusion of growing up in a small town with limited resources and little competition. Your hair is a weird, greasy mess. It only looks good if you spend a bunch of time curling it, and even then, it can't decide if it should have bangs or not. You don't have a future. This is pretty much as good as it's going to get in life for you. You're definitely not going to accomplish your dreams. Like, do you even have dreams anymore? You are a terrible friend. You can't even remember to text someone back or to finish making a lunch plan. Even when people want to hang out with you, you ruin it. You're never going to finish all the projects that you've committed to. You're not very funny or insightful. You're just a stupid poser on YouTube. No one really loves you or cares about you. You could die and no one would care. Yeah, that last one gets to the really dark place I can go. But honestly, though this is not a very nice way to talk to myself, this is actually an improvement on how I talked to myself two or three years ago. There was definitely a time in my life where it was a constant stream of you don't matter, die already, you don't have a future. So while I'm not in the ideal place of self-talk just yet, I have been able to improve it over time by one, treating my depression, and two, learning to filter out the negative thoughts that are just wrong. I probably annoy Parker with with my frequent questions of, if I died, you would be sad, right? Or you love me, right? But those kind of affirmations from him and being able to talk with him about the negative things that I say to myself have really helped me be able to say, okay, don't listen to this. This is not true. This is a lie that you're telling yourself. I'm not 100% there yet, obviously, because the negative self-talk that comes from insecurities, like my weight or my attractiveness or my ability to accomplish projects are a little bit harder to get rid of. But what I can do is try to fill in my mental monologue with more positive things that I should be saying about myself. So let's do a little list of that too. You make two videos and one blog post a week. That's a lot of content to create for one person when you're already working a full-time job in video production. So regardless of quality, it's still an exercise in your skills. You picked a really awesome shade of lipstick today. You can accomplish all the projects you need to once you calm down and organize everything. You are kind and thoughtful and go out of your way to help people. You're a really talented video editor and learn new things so quickly. You have some rockin' project and time management skills. You've been making much smarter eating choices recently and I know that you can continue. So you guys didn't see it because I cut it all out, but it was much harder to both make that list of positive things and to say that list of positive things authentically. <sighs> but that list is really important if we want to have more positive and kind self-talk. So what do you guys think? Is your self-talk pretty negative like mine? Can you think of one positive thing to say about yourself right now? Leave it down in the comments. Plus, remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe if this video made you smile. See you guys on Tuesday. <laughs>